Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video. She does not care about this game. So I'm gonna talk about this game, which I also do not care about, but I do care about the drama around it. This is Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, the much derided latest installment in the Arkham series by Rocksteady, brought to you by the wonderful talents at Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, critically panned, a commercial failure, and now there are accusations that um, Steam is deleting negative reviews. Now, I don't know. I want to be very clear. I do not know if this is true or not, if they're able to do this, if they are doing it, but that is what is, uh, what is going on. People are accusing them of deleting, the devs of deleting negative reviews, of Valve deleting negative reviews, and there are uh, pros and cons, I guess, as to why they would do this if they think that the reviews are false or being manipulated. Uh, Valve apparently could delete them, uh, as I understand it. But also, uh, other people are saying there's no evidence that these reviews were actually deleted. So let's talk about this. Let's find out what's going on. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, go out to Clownfish Gaming. We have a lot more gaming news on, on Clownfish Gaming. This one, though, I am covering it on the main channel because uh, you know once a game gets to a point where it becomes a bigger part of the pop culture conversation, it makes sense to cover it on the main channel because this is a game everyone's heard of. We have a lot of comic book fans on the channel. Uh, everybody's heard of this game, and it is kind of par for the course that studios, you know, to salvage their reputation. They will do what they got to do, call in favors, pay people, whatever they got to do to save a burning building, to put the fire out, to, uh, you know, keep the ship from sinking. Whatever they got to do. They have hundreds of millions of dollars invested in this game, uh, just like they have hundreds of millions of dollars invested in terrible movies like Captain Marvel or the Marvels. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to do what they got to do. Right. It's 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 hundreds of millions of dollars. And in some case, billions of dollars are on the line. So, yeah, of course, they're going to do what they got to do. This has come from X X Pooter. Sounds like a, a reputable news outlet here. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Negative reviews allegedly deleted by steam, allegedly deleted by steam. Many reviews have supposedly supposedly disappeared from the store page. So I want to be clear. That I don't know if they have. I'm coming into this kind of late. I started seeing headlines. I started seeing tweets. I'm like, I'm just going by what people are saying. They're wondering what's going on. Uh, so Kill the Justice League has only been out for a few days. Many controversies have followed suit. A string of reports from players suggest that either Rocksteady Studios or Steam is removing the negative reviews from the store page of the title. A slew of others claim to have allegedly noticed a deletion of reviews and a reduction in the total scores, as mentioned in Steam discussions, Reddit comments, and the like. So here's, I think this is on Steam. Reviews are disappearing. I kid you not, this morning I saw 7,000 plus positive reviews. A lot of them were negative, hidden in the positive. And now nine plus hours later, there are only 2,000 positives. So it's true that they're deleting them. Uh, this person says, there's no way a game with this much negative press is sitting pretty at 85% positive. I've never seen a game score and its reception be this out of sync. Something fishy is going on. Well, you know, they're going to do what they got to do, right? They got to save this thing. It's, it's already failing uh, critically. Uh, players are pissed. People are asking for refunds. And it had like half the players, I guess, on, on day one that the Avengers had. And the Avengers was a miserable failure. So, you know, they've shut that game down already. So I'm just saying, it's not looking good. A uh, few theories have uh, been passed around by the community that discuss possible ways the reviews were deleted. Some argue that Rocksteady Studios is to blame for tinkering with the scores. It's probably not possible. A game dev can't change the reviews of their games on their Steam page. Uh, that's true. Only in special cases do Steam admins step in to alter the reviews like illegitimate review bombing. So it is possible that if they thought it was illegitimate review bombing, that the scores were being manipulated, that Valve might have actually stepped in and deleted them. But uh, Rocksteady can't do it. So others suspect that Steam removed negative reviews of Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, um, from players who played uh, below two hours and then refunded it. This scenario has also 
not played out here. Steam does not delete game reviews uh, for those who refund their purchases. This was further corroborated by users who joined the discussions to defend the score. Additionally, no conclusive proof suggests the reviews on Steam are tampered with. Yeah, so I personally, this uh, guy named Dan, Dan, I have personally seen negative reviews being deleted. Do not trust the score of this game. They are committing fraud. I suggest you use the flag to report this game on their page for fraud and explain they are manipulating the score so that Steam can punish them and maybe undelete reviews. <laughs> Again, they want to reiterate on this uh, on this site. No, con no conclusive proof suggests the reviews on Steam are tampered with. Many Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League players have claimed that the overall reviews never reached the 7,000 mark. Those who checked via Steam database also found no shady activity behind the curtains. Besides, users asserting the deletion have been unable to provide any definitive evidence that could support their claims. In other words, it's a rumor mill at the moment that could be part of a hate campaign. Reddit says, blatant misinformation to try and destroy the game. <laughs> blatant misinformation. Uh, all in all, we suggest taking these contentions with a grain of salt. Uh, yeah, so yeah, lots of stories. Sportskeeda has lots of stories. You know, uh, people say that they have... Uh, uh, Issues with it, the community reviews. Um, this is on Sports Kita. They said that the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League uh, Steam reviews offer an interesting take on Rockstay's controversial looter shooter set five years after Arkham Knight. In sharp contrast to the general sentiment surrounding it, the Steam reviews are very positive, which is quite so. That's interesting. So, yeah, they are pot again. That's what they said in the previous that there was a bunch of positive reviews. So, if they're getting review bombed it's it sounds like it sounds like somebody is trying to to pump up this uh this title you know and we've seen that too you know review bombing is not just a hate campaign review bombing sometimes comes from the studio and they actually hire people in the case of movies and tv shows they actually hire people or hire firms to manage their reputation this is a thing you can do they manipulate manipulate the algorithm they manipulate social media uh they are trying very hard to convince you that this is like the best thing ever after they got after they got your money they don't care they don't care what you think of the movie uh, they want your money and they want your friend's money. So they're hoping you don't blab to your friend about how awful the movie or the game or the TV show or whatever it was. Uh, whether it be the highs of a recently released AAA blockbuster or according to some of conspiracy, the bizarre nature of these, these reviews cannot be understated. Perhaps more troubling is the fact that this is not the first time this happened. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. This is not the first time it's happened. Uh, review bombing is unfortunately a genuine problem as frustrated gamers take on to uh, express their discontent with the game. God forbid you don't like something that you paid for. God forbid you don't like it. You have to just eat it. You have to like it. The hatred is often misdirected, though. Same can be said for review inflation, which is when the positive reviews of a game are overly pronounced, as seen in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. While some points are certainly valid, such as the overall gameplay loop being rather engaging. The rest of the reviews do sound a bit exaggerated and come off as first impressions or, to an extent, fanboyism. Uh, to add to the conundrum, a good chunk of the reviews are quite inconsistent, highlighting flaws while maintaining a positive score. Yeah, that happens too. Like, we see scores on Rotten Tomatoes that are clearly middling or, you know, bad even, and they give them a red tomato. Like, this is clearly a rotten score. Why are you counting this as being a good review when they're like, yeah, the movie sucks, but the the costumes were nice. Everything about this movie is terrible, but it has some of the most beautiful costuming I've ever seen. Then they count that as a positive review, right? The movie's dog shit, but it looks nice. You know, kind of like The Last Jedi. It's a shitty movie with, with uh, beautiful cinematography. I'll, I'll say that for it. Yeah, so uh, this can be attributed to Steam as there are currently there's currently no way to offer a mixed rating for a game. Either way, the impact is undeniable. Uh, yeah, so they're saying it was a whole bunch of positive reviews, right? Now, this guy here, uh, Sid Alpha on Twitter says, it's impossible, just a reminder, it's impossible for developers and publishers to delete reviews on Steam. Valve, however, do have systems in place to remove user reviews in the event of review bombing, or in this case, possible review inflating. 
Uh, I'd also note these systems are now by and large automated because Valve hates any sort of manual labor. Also without any sort of evidence aside from anecdotal user statements regarding any reviews uh, being removed, I wouldn't have any sort of foundation to build a case for dirty devs early on. So it's probably not the developers, but again, if they're overly positive reviews, you know, why would somebody go in unless it was a fanboy or something, you know? Um, so even uh, NeoGAF is like, yeah, it's this is a nothing burger. They said uh, users have been lying as the Steam Deb, Steam DB, uh, shows there were never 7,000 negative reviews. Well, they said they were actually overwhelmingly positive, but still. So it could be a nothing burger. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me, given the controversy around this game, if this is actually going on one way or the other. I mean, you can't believe anything anymore. You can't believe anything anymore. You can't believe me anymore. I might not even be real. I might just be an AI. You know, all along, I've been an AI all along. Wouldn't that be something? But uh, no, I'm, I'm real-ish. I'm real-ish. So anyway, let's uh, let's wrap this one up, guys. Uh, more drama around this game. I expect it to end just like Avengers. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's, it's going to, you know, kind of fizzle out. And in like six months, people are going to be like, this game still exists. Oh yeah. And then you're going to hear about like, you know, Rocksteady getting shut down or laying people off or losing tons of money or whatever, because the game was a massive, massive failure. 10 years of work, you know, uh, years and years of goodwill for the Arkham saga, you know, that to end this way, just, uh, it's just waste. It's a waste. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe. We'll talk later.